my loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shira and today I'm going to give you a long awaited skincare routine. Now let me tell you, I get messages on the daily about what my updated skincare routine is and today I'm going to be giving you just that. Now if you don't know me and this is your first time on my channel, hello and welcome. I used to suffer really bad from hyperpigmentation. I still do have it a little bit now but it's not half as bad as it used to be. Over the past two years I've been putting a lot of hard work and dedication into my skin and I am extremely proud of how far I have come. Now with that being said, let's get on with the video. So first of all, I'm going to be putting on a headband to get my hair and my edges out of the way while I'm using products. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is cleansing with a cleansing balm. This cleansing balm is by Hamish and it helps to remove all the dirt and build up that you've put on your face overnight. I really love this product, especially the little spoon that comes with it. So I've had this product for about six months now and I was thinking what is the big deal about cleansing balms? Why can't I just use a normal water-based cleanser? So I went and purchased this to see what all the hype was about and guys, I was amazed. Look at how it melts into my skin. It is so incredibly moisturizing, especially if you suffer from dry skin like me. This will 100% change your skin and just ramp up your whole skincare routine but when you try a cleansing balm yourself don't be like me and use so much i am using way too much but i do really love the way it feels on my face this cleansing balm contains shea butter and coconut oil i know that some people have their thing about coconut oil but i felt like it was really good on my face i, d I personally don't have a problem with coconut oil my first thought when purchasing this i was thinking oh my gosh it's going to feel so heavy on my face but it su feels surprisingly light and even though i don't wear makeup that often i have used this to remove my makeup before and it's perfect it makes it so much easier to remove your makeup after applying this product to my face this is what it looks like when you mix it with water so it turns sort of milky looking Normally I will do this over the sink but for the benefit of this video I'm doing it here. When I finish that I just go ahead and wash off the product and leave my face damp for the next step. And the next step is cleansing again and I am using the Ordinary Squalene Cleanser. This product starts off as a cream and melts down into the oil and is compatible with all skin types. And you're probably thinking why the hell do you cleanse twice? Well, I used to use an oil-based cleanser and then a water-based, but I felt like the water-based cleanser was too drying for me, so now I just use a oil-based cleanser second, which works out perfectly for me because I feel like my skin is drier than most people's normal dry skin. And this cleanser really helps me soften my skin and also shields my skin from water loss. If your skin is not as dry as mine, you may want to use this in the PM to maybe take off your makeup. If your skin is extremely dry like mine, you'll be okay using it in the morning. Next, I just rinse that product off with water and this is what my face looks like. Now it's time to help balance our pH by using a toner and this toner is by Avena. The ingredients on this product can actually separate, which is why I shake the bottle first. But this toner is very gentle on the skin, it's also non-drying and I've tried toners before that sting my face and this one doesn't which is why I like this one a lot. Once I apply it to my face I let it dry and then go on to the next step. And this product here is 10% niacinamide plus 1% zinc and this product is a water based serum which you can use in AM or the PM. I use this product mainly to improve my hyperpigmentation but a lot of people swear by this product to help reduce the look of your pores and to help your blackheads as well but I don't really have large pores or blackheads but what I can tell you is that it really does work for hyperpigmentation. I've seen an incredible difference using this product and I was really surprised it worked for me because 
a lot of these types of products sting my face i remember using the aha 30 percent bha 2 percent and that was way too strong so i decided to try niacinamide and this is absolutely perfect i wish i tried it sooner the next product is again by the ordinary and this is their five percent caffeine solution and this product is specifically for around your eyes which is what i'd need and this product helps reduce the appearance of contours and pigmentation around your eyes it's also supposed to help with puffiness as well and what i really like about this product is that it is so light i prefer just using this rather than using eye creams i find eye creams quite heavy one thing i do find with this product is that it leaves the skin around your eyes a little bit tacky i haven't seen a major difference with this product but i definitely have seen a small change which is good enough for me now i am going to use e45 cream to moisturize my face my mom has been using this product on me since i was a baby and i'm still using it up into my adult years and this product is perfect for all skin types especially dry skin this product helps to lock in a lot of moisture i do really love e45 however i am looking for maybe a more lightweight cream especially because it's summer here in london however this is still one of my favorites i don't think i could ever let go of e45 cream last but not least is the ordinary again and this is a hundred percent plant derived squalane I have only recently started using this product in the last, I would say, three, maybe four months since it's been a little warmer. So the product that I love to use to moisturize my skin is Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil. But since it is really warm outside, I don't want such thick layers on my skin. And I can tell you this product is not greasy at all, but it's also really good at holding moisture in your skin, which was exactly what I was looking for. And where I've been noticing the difference the most is the patches of dry skin around my chin have seemed a lot smoother. And the last step is applying Vaseline to my lips. Now guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to click the thumbs up and comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.